Welcome to DMIT lab. In this video, we understand what is the correlations between fingerprints and the brain. So many people will ask, is it really scientific? DMIT is scientific. Uh, can we really believe this? Is it really accurate? So people are asking these questions. That is what we are making this video. So let us understand first fingerprints and the brain correlations. So what are the scientific behind this? So let's start. In this, we understand how fingerprints are going to be developed, how the brain is going to be developed. So based on that, we can understand the correlation between fingerprints and the brains. So let's start one by one. So now, who has got to know that there is a fingerprints and the brains are correlated or the connections? Who has got to know the first one? It is a very interesting story behind and uh, there is an incident happened that is what the doctors got to know that there is a fingerprints and the brain correlations. So there are doctor discovered some cases, some strange cases in their practices that there was a baby born without a brain. Okay. So when the baby has born without a brain, there are some things to be changed in their development. So they have done a research on that part. When there is no development, what are the things has got affected in the other parts of the area? They have got to know some interesting things in the research. When there is a no development of the brain, the doctors got to know that there is an absence of the fingerprints as well. So this is very curious to know how come Brain has not developed. Anyway, that case has been registered. But in the same time, in the same baby, there was an absence of the fingerprints. So doctors again start doing the research. What is the correlation? Why fingerprints has not developed? Brain has not developed, that's fine. But why fingerprints are not developed? So then they got to know that there's a correlation. Something is there is a relation. That is what the brain and fingerprints has not developed. There is an absence of the fingerprints and the absence of the brain. So now, doctors has got to know that during the 30th to 24th of the week, okay, so from 1st to 30th to 24th of the week, okay, so there is no development of the brain. So there is a research has happened on this the brain is going to be developed in the 30th and it will be complete by the 24th of the week. So this is the crucial development of the brain. So now the fingerprints also starts in the same time when there is a development of the brain starts in the 30th of the week itself. This is what the most important factor we have to make note of here. So when the brain formation starts in the same millisecond there is a development of the fingerprints also starts. This is what the cases has been registered. Now, let us understand how the brain is going to be developed and what are the things to be developed in the 30th to 24th of the week. Let us see. See, this is how the cases has registered. There was a baby has born, no brain. Okay. So, the baby has not survived for the long time, but because of the case studies, they have just observed there was an absence of the brain and there was an absence of the fingerprints as well. Based on these cases, not only one cases, later there are many cases has repeated wherever there a brain development not happened in the same time there was an absence of the fingerprints. So there are many cases happened repeatedly then they have concluded that there is a connection between fingerprints and the brain. Okay. Now, the now next is the brain development. So, brain development of the child inside the mother womb. When and how it is going to be developed. So, as we already told, 30th week the brain development starts and it will complete by the 24th of the week. Okay. Now, here this is the first three weeks the spinal is going to be developed. So not only brain here, even spinal is also called as a part of the brain. So the first, the spinal is going to be developed and then 
forebrain see from the spinal it starts to forebrain okay this is a structure not at still the development of the complete brain this is a basic structure of the brain this is a forebrain fourth week it is going to be developed by the seventh week even the spinal and the other parts of the brain structure is going to be developed and next by the third month the complete forebrain is going to be developed okay so still there is no fingerprint formations by to till the three months there is no still brain lobes has developed it is a just a structure of the brain okay now actual brain starts from three months this is most important here as you can see here by the sixth month as you can see the formation of the brain inside this is what we call as a lobe functions that means the lobe is going to be developed brain lobes is going to be developed from three to six months this is a very crucial time to develop three to six months this is the main development of the brain okay so now here we have understood how the brain development happens inside the mom the what is the takeaway three to six month is the crucial development of the brain same thing in the third month that means 30th 30th week the starts the brain development starts in the same time the fingerprints also starts development by the six month the whole brain has going to be developed brain lobes and all now then the most of the brain functions is going to be done now here we have understood the brain development see this is the complete brain where you can see by the six month it has got developed see same thing uh, we understand so far we have understood how the brain is going to be developed what is the brain formations now the same thing is the fingerprint formations the finger formation by eight weeks first when the baby confirmations there is no fingerprint development first the finger is going to be developed this is the eighth week uh, image of the baby now there is a olar pad Polar pad development. See the base. This is called without fingerprints, without that lines, fingerprint lines. What we call as a polar pad. So polar pad is going to be developed by the time thirtieth week. Most of the fingers are developed by some time. Uh, it may delay two three weeks. Depends on the baby development and the healthy of the baby. So generally by the thirtieth week the fingerprint. base pad what we call as a polar pad is going to be developed so this is how now next after development of the polar pad now the formation starts okay see here this is what the lines what you can see here this is the lines will starts all the directions the finger lines is going to be formed see this is again this is how the fingerprints is going to be formed so on what basis the fingerprints has been formed again there is a scientific behind okay so the brain formation is completely depends on the mother thought process how the mother thoughts what they think what they do the entirely that will influence on the brain development the brain development formation is going to be represented here that is what what we say in this world everyone is unique okay everyone is different every brain is completely different and unique that means that uniqueness as we say same thing the brain is also unique and fingers also unique fingerprint formation is also unique that is what what we say fingerprints and brains are completely unique so that is what we can able to know from the person what is the uniqueness in that person so now we have understood brain formations and fingerprints formations as brain is forming the same millisecond fingerprints is also forming what is the input for these two formation mother thought process based on the mother thought process brain is going to be developed based based on the brain formations and it is going to be represented in the fingerprint development 
this is what we have understood brain and fingerprint formations. So far we have understood these all these are the technical things. So these related science documents and the technical papers are we have posted in our website as well as in the description links also we have been given please click that link and get to know all the scientific documents what is the fingers and the brain correlations there are many documents so some of the documents we have already posted in our website frequently asked questions and also in the uh, descriptions link also we have provided please go through with that okay so now if you want to have a healthy brain development okay if you want to have a genius baby okay well established brain baby so what we say garbha samskara is the most important okay all the baby development mental development healthy brain development depends on the garbha samskara so this is most important three to six months as we already told the crucial brain development is the three to six months so please follow some of the garbha samskara books there are books available and there are some of the articles also available on the garbha samskara please refer these to get a healthy baby the brain development and the genius baby the good baby the especially for the brain development well developed brain baby is based on the garbha samskara please watch those articles and videos and follow the instructions of the garbha samskara so that you can have a very good development of the brain so the one more interesting things i would like to share here is that 90 percent of the brain is going to be developed inside the womb itself okay what we say inside the womb 90 percent of the brain has developed so early child age the remaining 10 percent of the brain bandwidth is going to be increased now comes the final conclusion that okay there are technical papers research papers on the dmit fingerprints and the brain formations and correlations but for a layman for the easy understanding to the normal persons without having a lot of technical backgrounds if you want to understand it is a very very simple okay if you want to know the fingerprints and the brain correlations is it scientific or not if you want to know it can be known with very one simple understanding that that is on the mudra hope you heard of the mudra if not please uh, google it what is mudra mental health for the mudra there are a lot of articles and the lot of documents also available and lot of videos also available how mudra is going to work for our brain how anxiety depressions can be overcome with this mudra and all there are a lot of articles so now the dmit software also has built on the mudra science okay i repeat why mudra see you know what we do in mudra so i, I will just tell you this our ancestors our rushi munis rushi munis are used to do this dhyana mudra okay when they are doing meditations i just come here i'll show you this is called dhyana mudra what our rushi munis used to do when they sit for the meditation they used to hold these two finger and they used to sit for the meditations now the things is to be very uh, interesting why they should hold these two finger while doing meditations they are able to work on their brain and they are able to control their thoughts process in the brain system why they should hold these two finger is the questions because they know rushi munis that fingers and brains are correlated okay so that is what they used to sit meditation with this dhyana mudra what will happen when you hold these two finger with a dhyana mudra i'll tell you the technical for this this finger connected to the prefrontal this is the prefrontal index finger is connected to the frontal okay if you know what is the functions of frontal and prefrontal 
frontal lobe is all about thinking what we think rationally the processing of the thing what we think is the frontal all the thinkings happens in the frontal lobe what is the functions of the prefrontal that's in the connected to the index uh, thumb finger that is the the functions of the prefrontal is the action in a morning to till evening most of the time what we do we think and we try to action on that if i do this what is going to happen i think and we we do action on that part we take some judgmental from the judgmental again we think again we act again we think this is what keeps on happening in our brain systems because frontal and prefrontal are very close to each other now here what will happen the main purpose of doing this meditation to shut down our thoughts what we uh, rishi munis used to do when they hold this dhyana mudra there is a connection it is like a wire connection to the brain okay see these are the two wire what will happen when you close this it will also shut down the connection between frontal and prefrontal okay this is the technical reason when you hold these two finger this will create a pulsation here see if you are aged you cannot because lot of garbages are there if you tell your kids to hold for uh, 15 20 minutes or 30 minutes there is a pulsation starts here so by which you can understand that there is a connection between fingers and the brains this is what the science behind the dmit software and the reports dmit software has built on the mudra science so with the dhyana mudra we have understood that we can able to reduce our thoughts and actions by holding these two finger 